For the first time tonight, a convicted killer spoke only to 10 News about his controversial courtroom wedding, which has now sparked national outrage. Some would say you've taken a life. You don't deserve that happiness. Well, tonight, 10 News learned a formal complaint is being prepared against the judge who oversaw that wedding and even baked the couple a cake. Only on 10 News, reporter Michael Chen reveals the penalties the judge could be facing. Danny Desbro was all smiles minutes after being sentenced to 53 years to life for murder. This is his wedding photo. I was smiling because I was happy. Uh... In a jailhouse interview, Desbro talked about the courtroom wedding that created a national firestorm. The story begins with a 2003 cold case, the murder of Kevin Santos, solved when a witness came forward. Desbro claimed he was defending himself in a fight, but was convicted of first-degree murder. Two weeks ago, Judge Patricia Cookson sentenced him, then cleared the court except for Desbro's supporters, before marrying him and fiancé Destiny. The judge had approved the marriage request a month prior. During the ceremony, Desbro's hands were uncuffed, allowing them to hold hands. After the wedding, the couple was allowed to kiss. Then the judge presented a vanilla cake she had baked herself. I felt like I was dreaming. <laughs> it was, I was, never heard of anything like that. It shocked me. She didn't have to do all that. And it made it even, that moment even more special for us. The nuptials have sparked a backlash led by outraged family members of Kevin Santos. It's not humanly possible for you to grant that to somebody who's a murderer. Attorney and victim advocate Paul Kaminar plans to file a formal complaint against Judge Cookson with a state commission, alleging a breach of judicial ethics. Backed by the Santos family, Kaminar is asking for a public apology and some sort of censure. By marrying this murderer, she has undermine the public confidence in the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary. Some would say you've taken a life. You don't deserve that happiness. Desbro and his wife say they never meant to cause the victim's family extra pain. They had hoped the wedding would not be held on sentencing day. The complaint against Judge Cookson will be filed in a few days. If the commission takes action, she could face discipline ranging from a public censure to losing her job. Michael Chen, 10 News. And Judge Cookson did not respond to our request for a comment.